Good morning, everyone. Oh, that was a little slow. That clap was a little slow. Let's give God praise in here. Let's give Jehovah, our God, praise. How many of you want to see God? How many of you want to feel him today? How many of you came with the intention of worship in your heart today? So that means that you wanted to see him in this place. You want to see miracles. You want to see signs. You want to see wonders. You want to feel his presence, I'm assuming. What's the quickest way to get his attention? It's to praise him so that he may sit. So that he may sit. I was telling the choir last rehearsal, not this one, but the one before that. It might have been this one. But worship. The word in that is worthy, okay? That's the, the prefix of it, were, okay? Ship is to assign an attribute or to assign some kind of affinity. And so what we do is when we worship, we assign his worthiness. And who is worthier than our God? Who is worthier than a God of God? The King of Kings. The Lord of Lords. Let's give him praise in this place. He's worthy of all the praise. He's God yesterday, today, and will be tomorrow, and will be forevermore. Let's give him praise again. He's worthy. He's worthy. And now we're going to do some self-evaluation. I want you to check, check yourself right now. And ask yourself, did I already feel him in this place? Because guess what? He's here. He's here. We've already claimed it, haven't we, choir? He's here. He's in this place. He's been with us all morning. He's just been giving us word. And he's been even giving us that feeling when you know he's here. And you're just like, oh, my God. If he's here, show us. Show him that he's here. Thank you, God. You're worthy. Let's just take a few seconds and get into our worship corporately. You're worthy, God. You're worthy, God. Let's praise him all over this place just for a few seconds. Give him his worth. Show him his worth in this place. You're worthy, God. You're worthy. You're awesome. You're magnificent. You're great. We give you honor. We give you glory. You are God of gods. You're the only true living God. We don't have to put you on a shelf and take you off. You're the true and living God. You're here. You're there. You're everywhere. You own the cattle on a thousand hills. And you are faithful, God. You're awesome. You're just. You're worthy, you're beautiful, you're magnificent, you're everything we need, God. We love you. You may be seated as you're giving him praise. Amen. Thank you, God. He's so worthy. We serve an awesome, magnificent, wonderful God who sent his only begotten son. During this time, we worship. Because he sent his son on earth. Aren't you glad that he did? Amen. Amen. And we thank you, son, for being God himself, wrapped in flesh. Amen. So we are now about to do our rolling announcements. I just want to remind you, because I'm not sure if the announcements are going to touch. Our Spaghetti Thursday will not be this week, but it will be the following week. So we will still need some um, assistance with that. But now, if you could just stay attuned for our rolling announcements. Thank you. Welcome to Prince of Peace Praise Center, the church where people go to grow. 
we thank you for coming out today. For all of you who came to our church and those who showed up on our social media platforms, we're grateful that you came out to visit with us and worship with us. Give yourselves a hand all over the congregation. Every second Thursday of the month is our Prince of Peace Praise Center Spaghetti Thursday food giveaway. That's right, every second Thursday from 5.30 to 6.30 p.m., we are giving away boxes of food to veterans, homeless, and anyone that's in need. So please come out and enjoy the food. Also, we need volunteers to help us from 9.30, 12.30, and at 4.30. If you are able to volunteer, we ask that you see either Minister Sherry, Sister Kelly, or Sister Lee to help participate. We thank you for your volunteer, knowing that you can only serve God by serving his people. On behalf of Bishop Reginald Smith and Pastor Kia Smith, the Prince of Peace Praise Center would like to wish you all a happy holiday. This is a season of joy and love beyond measure. And we also would like to take the time to recognize our spiritual mother and father who pour so much into us, blessing us and praying for our prosperity, health and healing. So this holiday season, we would love to honor our Bishop and First Lady and let them know how much we truly appreciate all that they do for us. And so if you would like to be part of that giving, their cash apps are listed below because we here at Prince of Peace believe that if you bless a prophet, you will get a prophet's reward. Prince of Peace Praise Center. Get ready for 2024 because it's a year of restoration. We know that our Bishop Reginald Smith has been claiming in the name of Jesus that we will get everything we lost restored back unto us in the new year. And so we believe that that prophecy is going to be fulfilled and we're sowing the seed in the ground, expecting a harvest in 2024. And so if you need an envelope for your 1024 seed, please raise your hand and the usher will get one to you. If you're ready to drop off your seeds via envelope, you can see the gold box in the back with the 1024 seed logo on it. Also, if you would want to give your 1024 seed in any other way, the options are listed below. We are believing God is going to do just what he said he will do. We like to take this time to welcome our first time guests here at the Prince of Peace Praise Center. We understand that you could have chosen anywhere to go and worship, and we're so glad that you came here to worship with us. We pray that you'll be blessed and that we'll see you very soon. Also, we thank you for your continual giving in your tithes, your offering, and your seeds. For God says he loves a cheerful giver. And so, if you would like to give, we have various options that you can choose from. You can go online at our website, princeofpeacepc.org or you can give via cash app at dollar sign P-O-P-P-C-1 If you would like to give using your credit or debit card we have the square kiosk in the back that's manned by one of our trustees Also on the back of your chairs you will see a giving card that highlights all of the giving options you can utilize Also we have Givelify as another option in your ways of giving you can utilize the Givelify link that was sent to you via text, or you can go on Givelify.com and search for the Prince of Peace Praise Center. Also, at this time, take out your camera phone and point it at the screen that you see. This will take you directly to the Prince of Peace Givelify page where you're able to give any donation or amount that you choose. We thank you so much for giving to the storehouse and sowing your seeds on good ground. Now, we invite you to stand, if you're able, to read with us our mission and our vision statement along with our giving declaration. Our mission statement. The mission for this part of Zion is to reach out and let someone know that Jesus is love. Also, we must teach, preach, 
and show the lost that Jesus is true. Through the word of God, all things are possible. Where there is no vision, the people perish. Now, for our vision statement. The vision for this part of Zion is to grow the people of God in such a way that our impact and outreach expands the world. We will be a haven for the youth, a launching pad for entrepreneurs, and a lighthouse for the lost. Now, for our giving declaration. Because I am a tither and a giver, the windows of heaven are open to me, and God rebukes the devourer for my sake. I am blessed financially and receive a blessing that I cannot contain. I do not worry about lack, knowing God supplies all my needs richly and abundantly. Therefore, I am able to sow freely and liberally. Because God loves to see me prosper, I am believing him for jobs and better jobs, advancements, raises and bonuses, sales and commissions, God ideas and strategies, debts paid off, expenses decrease, blessings and increases, financial freedom and breakthroughs. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's continue to stand and go before the throne of grace. Dear Heavenly Father, we come before you today giving you thanks, giving you honor, giving you glory, and giving you praise. It's no goodness of our own, but it's by your grace and mercy that we are here. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for waking us up this morning, clothing our right mind, activity our limbs, and blood running warm in our veins. We thank you for that on today, God, because someone didn't wake up. But we thank you for loving us so much that you touched us with the finger of love. And here we stand to give you worship, to give you praise, and to give you honor on today. We just thank you, Heavenly Father, for forgiving us for all of our sins, knowing and unknowingly, oh God. You said you would throw them in the sea of forgiveness, and they would be remembered no more. Heavenly Father, help us to forgive, oh God. Help us to forgive one another as you forgave us, God. You said that in your word, and everything is going down but the word of God. We just thank you on today for everyone that came out, oh God. How you blessed them to come up and down the danger highway, oh God. No accidents, no plots and schemes, oh God, but they made it here. And thank you for the ones that are on their way. We just thank you, Heavenly Father, for everything that you're doing in this season. You're a mind regulator. You're a heart fixer, oh God. You're the light in the darkness, oh God. You're that healer, oh God. You said it in your word, and we believe you on today. You said, knock, the door shall be open. Seek, ye shall find. Ask, and it shall be given. And we come today knocking to you, oh God. We knocking to you, oh God, for deliverance, oh God, for healing, oh God, for salvation, oh God. We just thank you, and we give your name the praise. We thank you for our youth, oh God. Touch them, oh God, in a mighty way. That's our future doctors, our future lawyers, our future pastors. Devil, you have no right in their life on today. We just thank you, oh God. You know everything that's going on in the world, over there in Israel and everywhere else. We trust you today to fix it, oh God, because we don't have the power, but we know you can. We just thank you, oh God. We thank you, oh God, for everything you're doing in Prince of Peace, oh God. We thank you, oh God. We thank you, oh God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, God. You're worthy of all the praise. You said we must worship you in spirit and in truth, oh God. Hallelujah. Ooh, I just thank you, oh God. We just thank you for the shepherd of this flock, Bishop and Pastor Kim. You said you would give a pastors according to your heart. And we thank you for it today. We thank you for that on today. To give us a woman and a man of God that will teach us. We thank you on the day, oh God. Bless everyone that come, oh God, and what they come looking for, oh God. Touch them from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet. That whatever it is they desire, that they will get it. 
Let your power fall in here on today like never before. Time is winding up. Time, oh time, is winding up. We just thank you. We give your name to praise. We honor you and we glorify you. It is in your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's worship him in this place. You have the attention of God. When God sits in, do you want healing? Do you want deliverance? Let's worship in this place. Let's worship in this place. We have a song. It says, he is here. Yes. Praise his name. And then it gives him, it assigns that worthiness that we talked about to, to him. The attribute of worthiness. So let's assign his worthiness and we give him the highest praises. Hallelujah. So all over the congregation right now, get your mindset in. He's here. He's here before you and everything that you need, everything that you want, I get your attention, God. I'll assign your worthiness to you. You'll deliver me because I assign your worthiness. You'll set my children free. Because I assign your worthiness. You'll make my pockets fatter and close up my holes. Because I assign your worthiness to us. Get in a position and a posture of worship all over this congregation. Don't be in a concert. But he's here. And let's worthy him. Let's worship him like he deserves to be worshipped.
Worship the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Yeah. My God, Dante, Dante, turn me up just a little bit. Come on. Hey. Come on. We just gonna worship before. I feel like somebody needs this today. I just, I feel this in my spirit. This is a word. I feel this in my spirit. Come on, Dante, sing it for me a little bit. Sing hallelujah. Worship him, oh, oh. sing hallelujah. We worship you, we worship you, we worship you. There's no one like you. Sing hallelujah, hallelujah. Let's worship him. He's the King one more time. of Kings, Lord of Lords. Sing hallelujah. Can y'all give God a hand clap of praise if you believe that he deserves the worship I'm a true believer that God deserves the worship I'm a I'm a believer I I I never seen the righteous forsaken or a seed begging for bread I I have never seen it in all my life I have never ever ever seen it God will bring you through I don't care what the situation I don't care if the devil have the evidence. It don't even matter. God is still God by himself. Somebody scream hallelujah in this place. 
Can you clap your hands for God? My God. Right there, Vontae. Just hold it right there, my God. So just hold it right there. I, I just feel like God. Throw your hands up real quick. Every y'all band, keep on playing. Just play it right there. Take me to the organ, Vontae. I just I just feel like God just de- He wanted this real quick. He, he said, Can you praise me for a little while? In spite of what you're going through, in spite of what the situation looked like. Can you just praise me anyhow? No matter if you have money or not. No matter if you have a pain or not. No matter if it's not working for you. It doesn't matter. Can you just give God the glory? Throw your hands up and tell him thank you. My God. Oh. My God. Jesus. Thank you all so much. God bless you. Come on, just clap one more time for God. Dante, turn the yellow mic up a little bit. Amen. Thank you, choir. Thank you all so much. My God, God is an awesome God. Today, today is your day. Today, today going to be your day. I feel it in my spirit. You thought you just came just to come to church. But I feel a breakthrough in this place today. God is doing an amazing work in this place. Turn me up just a little bit. God is doing an amazing, somebody screaming amazing. He's doing an amazing thing in this season. My God, God said it ain't about your neighbor. It's about you today. My God. How, how many of you know God can do it? How many of you know he did it? He, he did it. God did it. He did it. My God. Can y'all clap for the choir real quick? God is an amazing God. He's an amazing God. I don't, I don't know how it works. I just know when you worship him that, that he comes through. I, I have no idea. Eyes haven't seen and ears haven't heard. Man, God is... This, this is the last first Sunday of the year. This, this is the last, the last. There, there's not another first Sunday this year. This is the last one right here. Right here. This is the last, the last first Sunday. And, and some of you shouldn't have been here. But God kept you. Some, somebody said that the enemy been, been riding me. I, I lost my shout. I lost my joy. But some way, somehow, God kept me. I don't, some way, somehow. Somebody holler, I shouldn't be here. But some way, somehow, God. Somebody say, some way, somehow. Some way, somehow. Some way, somehow. Some way, somehow. God kept me. I, I, I thought it was all over. But God. Some way, somehow. Some way, somehow. I, I didn't have enough, but God kept me. Uh, I was running low on faith, but God kept me. I, I ain't having all the money I needed, but God kept me. Somebody holler some way. Some way, somehow. Some way, somehow. Some way, somehow. They counted you out. I feel that in my spirit. They counted you out. They said you couldn't make it. They counted us out, but, but some way. Somebody holler some way, somehow. I, all I know, I wake up worshiping. All, all I know, I wake up praising. And some way, somehow. My God. My God. I'm trying, I'm trying to get up in this Bible, but but I woke up praising this morning. I told my wife there's a praise in our house this morning. I, I woke up crying this morning. I woke up screaming this morning. I, 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 I don't know what. I just know God is doing it. Because you came today in this place, I feel this in my spirit. There's a new anointing you're about to receive. That because you came in, they ain't want to come with you today. But God said, because you came. There's a new anointing in it. A new anointing in this place. My God. My God. Look at somebody say, I'm, I'm going to finish strong. 
See, you got I just tell them I'm gonna finish strong. I, I, I've been playing, I gotta finish strong. I, I, I got to come out of the box this year. I got to Dante turn me up a little bit more in my throat. Somebody said, I got to finish strong this year. I, I got to get this thing right this year. I got, I got to finish strong. I got to get in the race. I can't keep being in and out. I, I got to make sure that I finish strong. Re regardless of who in my circle, I got to finish. Can y'all clap your hands for God real quick? This is not going to be, this going to this is going to be uncomfortable, but it's still going to be good today. So all the youth, y'all can go ahead back there because I got to scream today. This is the first Sunday, but God has been mighty, mighty good to us. I want to thank God for Brother Edgar back there. He ushering today. Y'all better clap your hands. Uh, the I, my God, the IT team, they're doing their thing. I, Mama, I just think we're going somewhere. I, I don't think we, 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 we might not be where we want to be, but I promise you, we're not where we used to be. My God, the band, the choir, the security, the parking. Tell them God is doing a new thing in this season. God is doing a new thing in this season. I told y'all gonna take the youth over there. I plead the blood of Jesus in this place today. I gotta, I just gotta holler real quick. So when I came in this morning, God had woke me up about Camonte, two o'clock this morning. So I need somebody to touch DB for me real quick. Man, well, do me a favor. Come here for a minute. I need you to tell that young man, get them ear pods out of his ear. Because he need to hear this word. Touch him right there, Edgar. P pull him out as it ain't got him in. DB, I need you to look at my face today. God woke me up this morning at 2 o'clock about him and about you. Everything is going to be all right, but God said he need all of you. It, it might not line up the way you want it to line up, but, but God has his hand on you. It, it might not look like the way it's going to go or you want it to go but God has an anointing on your life eyes haven't seen God, God said he seen the tears he, the frustration the aggravation God said he see everything he says but his hand is still on your life can y'all clap your hands for God watch this where, where, where is Hezekiah at Hey, Hezekiah, come here for a minute. Come here for a minute. Come here, come here, son. You remember I prayed and I said the next time you see him, he going to be walking. Y'all remember that, do you? I told you the, ne the next time, the next time, remember, remember he won't walk in? And I said the next time he come in church, you see him, he going he gonna to be, hey, Hezekiah, go over there and get Tim high five real quick. Just give him high five and come. Y'all thought I was playing, didn't you? I said, the next time you see him, he going to be. Yes, Y'all better know God is God. God is a God that cannot and will not lie. Somebody, hey, go ahead. Go get, man, well, go get him for me. Somebody say, he's a God that cannot. I said, the next time you see him, what are going to be doing? He going to be walking. What is he doing right now? He's walking. Y'all better clap your hands for God. That's what God will do. That's what this is. The, this, man, this is the veil place. My God. My God. God is an amazing God. He's an amazing God. This is the last first Sunday. of. I'm not even going to be long today. I just, I feel good in my spirit. I, I watch this. So, uh, look to him, my nephew. Um, he always pray. He, he always pray for his brothers, cousin, daddy, and everybody. Watch this. Look, Tim brother is here today, which is my nephew. Y'all better clap your hand. And he done brought his girlfriend. Y'all better tell God thank you. Raise your hand, Rashad. That's little Tim brother. That's my nephew. Amen. That y'all better know God is still God by himself. I'm trying to tell you. Amen. God is truly an amazing. He's an amazing God. And I want to just thank God. Sometimes you just got to thank God. You just, just got to thank God. Everybody got situations. Everybody going through. But you got to thank God. God is keeping us. God is keeping us. So what I want to I do real quick. I got I to 
I got to make you uncomfortable today. I, w- I wasn't going to do it, but I got to do it. I got to do this. So I need all the men to sit on that side. And I need all the women to sit on that side. I know you got your boo with you. I know you got your baby. I know you, I, I can't move without my girl. I understand that. So I need all the men on this side. I need all the women on. Man, I just barely got to church. I'm uncomfortable. All the men on this side and all the women on this side, all right? So I need Vante, you and my base man. I need y'all to get down there today. Once I start hollering, I need y'all to come on back up here, all right? I need all my all my men on this side. And Hey, it's hot in here, too. Y'all got the hottest Hades in here. Cut that thing down. Cause we got that, we got, y'all, while y'all was home chilling this weekend, we was here all weekend getting that heat fixed. I didn't leave at 8, 9 o'clock at night. Amen. But we got it fixed. Amen. Somebody said, on that side, I need all the men on that side. Now, I want to make the men uncomfortable one more time. I want to go from the oldest to the youngest in the back. So y'all need to figure out who the oldest and who the youngest. Just start sitting right there. Um, it's between Mr. Brown is the oldest, my father-in-law, uh, um, Manuel probably, I know you ain't that old, but you got that gray in your chin, bro. <laughs> All right, come on. I, I got to do what God was telling me to do. All right, I, I, we got, I got to, I can't, God only work and, and so I need to figure out who the old is. Y'all go ahead, I start, come on, sit over there. I need all the men to talk. Find out your age, give me your age group. Man, I ain't come to church for musical chairs, yes you did. Amen, I ain't come for this today. All right, who, who, the, who is the youngest? I need, I need y'all to line up. Okay, this is going to be one-on-one. Who the, who 80 and older? All right, I need you to come. Mr. Brown, pop, y'all move down one. All right, let my man sit right there. All right. Man, well, figure out who ages who and, and get right there. Cause I, this, this, this is how the anointing can flow. This is what, man, Vontae, y'all get it together. All right. All right. I didn't come to church for this. I just wanted to hear a word and go home. Eat me some food. Got the football game on today. I ain't got time to play with y'all. Hey, man, that's, that's how they feel. I, man, I, I'm tired of this. I, I ain't coming next Sunday. The devil is alive. We're going to be right here. Amen. 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 We're going to be right here. That, that's amazing how many women we have in the church. Hey, look at, amen. Hey, but hold on. Clap your hand for all the men in church. Y'all got to. You can't even go to a mega church and get this many men. And some of them boys over there single too. Amen. Amen. So the God is true. Pop, put your hand down. You ain't single. You my, you my mom. Boy. I'm just playing. I, I was just playing. I was just, I was just, <laughs> I was just, I was just, I was just playing. I was just playing. Amen. I'm going to cut that AC down some. So I, I want to talk this morning. I'm, so I only have like maybe 10, 20 minutes to talk this thing out and preach it out. That's all I have. I'm, I'm not going to do a part two next Sunday, not doing none of that. We just can preach this thing out and we're going home today. So, so this is the last first Sunday of the month. So I have to do communion so that I've got 15 minutes. Last first Sunday of the month. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm, I'm going to take a page from my bishop, Bishop Lyle Dukes. Um, in um, Woodbridge, Virginia, our bishop. Um, so what we're going to do is not this Wednesday, but next Wednesday. That's December the 13th. What I'm going to do, I'm literally going to cast vision. That means I'm going to tell you everything, how it worked this year, and what we're going to do next year. All right? I think, I think we, we, we're not just church people anymore, but we're partners. And partners need to know what other partners are doing. Right, right or wrong. So I can't just tell you we're going by carpet and we just do it because I'm the head. We got we to gotta work on things together. Amen. But we did buy chairs. We got the roof fixed. We got paint. We, we, did, we Clap your hands for all that we did this year. <laughs> Hold on. And we bought a church this year. We spent over a million some dollars this year on this facility getting everything together. So we want to thank God for that. Amen. And so um, you've been blessed. Also, I just want to shout out real quick, Sister Porter and Sister Sandra Burton. They had uh, in and out surgeries. They are good. Everybody, come on. God came through. Amen. God came through. Man, y'all clapping like y'all mega, man. But I'm, but I'm telling you what God is doing in the season. 
He's doing a great thing, all right? I'm going to say it one more time. You don't find this many men in church. Can the women clap for the men real quick? Because we got a, men, we got a lot of stuff to do. We trying to make money. We trying to get a honey. Right or wrong? We trying to eat. Babe, what do you want to eat after church? Amen. We trying to keep everybody happy. We trying to figure out we're going to buy a Christmas present this year. Because, you know, we ain't really, all, we all ain't got no money because we paying the bills. Right or wrong? So we just trying to, it, it, it takes a lot to get a man to come to church. Because the first thing I would say out my mouth, I'm tired. I'm tired. Because it takes a lot. So I came up here and the heat went up. So Friday was supposed to be my day off. So me my, well, I've been up here seven days this week. So when I got home um, Friday and Saturday, when I got home, my wife said, I got food cooked already. So I was like, yo. So then when I got home yesterday, what up? we came for prayer. My, my wife said, I tell you what, let's go out and eat. She said, no, let me cook for you. So she cooked potatoes, sweet potatoes. What's the green stuff? Baked potatoes. What's the green stuff? Spinach. She cooked shrimp and cooked fish. She cooked all that. All that. I, I threw my foot on the table, ate, and fell asleep. All right? Watching the football game. So, so what, what happens, and, and God get now I had a whole sermon for something else. But God said, preach about the men being the head. And you're trying to figure out why it's not working. And you're trying to figure out why it is working. All right? So I, I take care of my house so my wife had no problem cooking. Right, right or wrong? Because my wife understand that, that I'm, I'm going to change the oil, I'm cutting the grass, I'm, whatever. All right? So I, I want to preach to the men, and I'm going to charge you today. I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you what God, the, the responsibility and the power that you have. Because every man on this side have power. And, and what the, the kicker is, watch, watch this, is that a woman can carry a baby, another body, inside of her and walk with that baby. And, 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 and birth that baby. And so what we do as men, we'll say, we'll do stuff like this. Baby, I know you tired. No, she ain't tired. You might be lazy. Because she can walk with a baby. Y'all, I'm trying to help y'all in here real quick. She can carry another being in her and feed that baby. And the baby get the virtue out of the mother and, and, and you ask your wife, baby, let's not go to Bible study. I know you tired. She not tired. You lazy. I'm, I'm she carries a baby, another body. Stop telling your wife, your cut, your niece, your mama, babe, I know you tired. She's not tired. You are making her tired. Am I helping y'all real quick? I'm going to line up a little bit. I'm just going to teach you a little Teach you a little bit. So in the Bible, in the book, you like this, Mr. Brown? You, you love this, don't you? In the book of Genesis, chapter 18, this is what the Bible says. And I have some scriptures. Um, you can go home and look at it again on Facebook. All right? Get on Facebook. So it says, and the Lord God said, it's not good that that man should be alone. And it ain't good. Because we busy by the people. When you get a man by himself, we liable to do anything. We make bad decisions. That's not good decisions. That's why you got to bounce some off other people. Because, because, because a, a, a woman would sit there and think it out. A man will rush because he don't want his lady to worry. So, but a woman, she'll think it out. She'll, she'll think this thing out. Let me, let me think this thing out. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me. And, and a woman would do what Mary and Martha did. Let, let's just go see if Jesus is still living. Because a woman understand that without God, it won't work. Let me say that. A, a, a woman understand that with, but a woman will look at you for a while and take it. But she'll end up saying, sir, 
We about to do more of God. Am I, am I helping y'all here? A man will say, let's not pay tithes. But a woman will say, we about to start giving because we have children. Am I, am I helping y'all real quick? Because a man will say, look, I, get, I do the overtime. But a woman will say, no, let's do God's time. Am I, am I helping you real quick? And so it says, it's not good for man to be alone. He says, but I'm going to make you a help me. Not a hurt me. Not a cuss me. Not a beat me. Not a nut. He says, I'm going to give you a help me. So that means that we have to come together and a woman is only going to help a man if a man know how to cast vision. Because a man who don't write the vision and make it plain to his girl, she don't know who to follow. Am I, am I helping you? Because I, God spoke to me last night about one o'clock that if the men get on one accord, then everything else will follow. Am I, am I helping y'all here? So a man can never not have a vision. You, you got to, my topic today is, can you finish strong? Can you finish strong? And a man always got a lot going on in his mind. How can I make more money? How can I build this house? How can I get these cars? How can I do, the, I'm, a man, and so a man must have a vision. For the Bible says, write that vision and make it plain. So if a, if a man have a vision, watch this, that woman do not mind following that man. Come on, man, watch this, because next year we building a house. We're going to do more church. We ain't missing no more Bible study. We coming to prayer. We coming to church because I know with God all things are possible. Am, am I helping somebody? A woman don't want a man, baby, we might not make it. Baby, we don't know what to do. <laughs> Bay, I'm sick again. Am, am, I, am I helping y'all over here? But a woman want a man that can stand up and say, baby, for God I live. <laughs> and for God I die. That's what a woman wants. She wants a man that can, that, that can see beyond, beyond. Well, baby, you might not be able to see it right now, but if you invest in my business, I promise you next year this time, I'll pay every car off. I need a man to ask, so, say, do you got a vision? Just ask, him, ask your partner. I ain't got to ask. Look at somebody and say, do you have a vision? Do you have a vision? I got him a little nervous in here. So it says that man cannot be alone. And we as men of God, we must count on faith to grow. Somebody say, I got to count on my faith. And so faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of, I need to be in church. Can I get in? I have God. So, so the more I get word, the more, being in here seven days have made me cry and, and get a word in my spirit. So I looked at my bishop today. I said, I wonder what he's preaching today. I'm preaching, can you finish strong? You know what his topic was today? Finish strong. Because we, 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 we on this level that, that I can hear what I used to couldn't hear. All right? And so faith doesn't make it easy. So I got all the faith on the inside. Watch this, Freddie. But faith make it possible. Faith, faith don't make it easy. Faith just make it possible. And, and the more faith that I get, the, I might just be able to do it this year. It, I, might be able, I'm, 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 I might be able to buy this church. I might, I might be able to, because it don't make it easy. It makes it possible. So you're going to have to have a woman in your ear to say, baby, do the best you can. Y'all want to help me. I'm, I'm, try, I'm trying to help y'all real quick. You're going you're gonna to need somebody in your ear to say, I, I know we don't have a lot right now. Now I'm talking to the women. But you got to get in somebody's ear and say, look, baby, do the best you can. Let, let, let's start praying together. 
Let's read our Bible together. Let's have Bible study at the house without having Bible study. Y'all got to help me. Let, let's start breaking bread together. Let, let's, you, you, see, just because I'm lazy, I can't tell my wife I'm lazy because she's going to follow behind me. So now everybody lazy in the house. <laughs> Can I get an amen? Praise the Lord. And so, and watch this. And so, uh, know that the body of Christ, know, know that coming here, getting a word, getting the anointing, is, is your lifeline. This, this is considered a spiritual hospital, and this is your lifeline. This, this is your lifeline. You, you need to do more God this year than anything else. Somebody said, I need to do more Jesus. When we was in churches at night, watch this. I holler, fired up when they come back with. Fired up, fired up, fired up. You got to get back fired up. Let me say it again. Fired up. Somebody said, I got to get back fired up. Because what the devil would do is try to smuzzle your fire. So now you frustrated. You mad. You got ideas, but you broke. God don't want you saved and broke. Because a human, a, a man or woman of God with a vision and money can do some things. Am, am I helping y'all in here? I'm just trying to help you to get to the next level. Because, because, because watch this. And so, you, you, this year, stop running stuff to people who don't have nothing. You got to start running everything through God this year. You keep running stuff through your buddy, they ain't got nothing. They, lay on, they, they barely paying their rent and mortgage. You, you got to run your stuff through God. Well, baby, let me talk to God first. You, you keep talking to people who keep telling you you can't do it at this season. But with God, all things are possible. Why y'all buying a church? Because I talk to God. Why y'all building a house? Because I talk to God. Why y'all buying cars? Because I talk to God. Why y'all doing a 1024? Because I talk to God. Why y'all putting a roof on the building? Because I talk to God. Tell your neighbor, you got to run this thing through God. So when you come to your wife, you say, baby, I ran it through God. And you know what she, she, she be like, what God say? Because when a man go to a woman and say, I ran it through God, she was like, my God, my man talking to God. Can I get an amen? So you got to run everything this year through God. This, this need to be the year you got to talk to God. As a man of God, you shouldn't miss any moments. You can't, you can't keep missing moments. You got to run. You, you can't. To, the more God you do, the stronger you will be. The more, the more God I do, the more, the more reading. So watch this. So I got up to, I've been up the last two days at two o'clock. So I got up this morning. What was I saying? When we speak your name, uh, something happens in the room. When my hand go up, We can't wait to see what you're going to do. We speak in your name. Hope, oh, watch this. So she won't sing it with me. But when I walked in, oh, baby, turn the light off. I'm tired. But when I started singing, God, you know what she said? Let's harmonize together. Because there's something about when a man do God. It's something about when a man lay out for God. That everything in the house must line up with the word of God. When, I'm, I'm telling you, when a man do God, everything will start shifting in your house. If, everything, when you start running it through God, watch this. We speak in your name. No, she's singing with me. I ain't asked her to sing this time, mm -mm. but she know I'm singing God. Yes. Then I said, then she was like, right, I'm tired. So I started playing it in the other bedroom. She come in. What are you saying? I told her, no, go back to bed. But when I started doing God, it shifted the whole house. It, it sh Can y'all imagine if I come in here 
Well, open your Bibles today. Man, I don't even want to be here today. I'm sick, man. Y'all get on my now. I don't even want to be. Y'all be like, just a fool in here. But if I come in here, holler, fired up, fired up, fired up, everybody else going to be fired up. What I'm saying to the men of, the, uh, of Prince of Peace this morning is that what you do, it, it stab- if you do God, it's going to stabilize your atmosphere. Watch this. I was trying to say what you do today is going to affect your tomorrow. Because I'm, if I come in, watch this. I just come doing what I'm doing, and, and we know we give it. We know we give it. Do, 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 do. So I'm setting myself up for tomorrow. I never seen the righteous forsaken or see you begging for bread. Yeah. So I ain't got to ask my neighbor for anything. I, I know it's going to come because I'm following the word of God. And what I want you to start doing now is trying God. Because, because if you try him, now you can't, now you can't have your, your, your wife, your cousin, your niece, and your ear telling you it won't work. Because if they're hollering it won't work, They become your God. Babe, leave me alone. I'm trying God. Well, babe, we ain't got to. I'm trying God. Get away from me. I'm trying. What y'all can say for now on on what? No, y'all ain't said it like you. Y'all said it like y'all were doubting. Say, I'm trying God. Tell them, I am going to finish strong this year. Somebody say, fired up, fired up, fired up, fired up. Come on, y'all clap your hands. See, every now and then you got to fire. I just brought men's conference to you. Every now and then you got to fire them up. Because a man go through so much trying to keep it going on. My wife looked at me and said, I know you tired, baby. But I got, I got food. I got, I saw, you know, I get what it's to say. I, I've been, I say that on Facebook. I got beer. Now, she ain't had no beer. She had some Pepsi Cola. But I'm just saying, m- my wife would have bought anything that I wanted because she knows she have a hardworking man. You understand? I just don't work hard in church. I, I work hard. In, y'all, y'all, I done fed four people by myself. To come up here to park to the back to give them chicken. Y'all playing games. We hungry. Can y'all, everybody else home sleep. You know what I did? Drove up here, opened that back door, let them come and fed them chicken. That, 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 y'all better clap for God. That, see, that's what you got to do. It ain't what when people see you, it's when people don't see you, it's how God responds to you. Is when people don't see you. It's how God responds. Because anybody can shout when the music playing, but can you shout when you broke? Can, can you shout when you ain't have no money? Can you shout when you don't have no shoes? Can, can, you, can, you, can you shout when the bills are due and you struggling between giving God and giving the bill man? Am I, am I helping y'all in here? I'm, I'm trying to tell y'all something good in here because, because I, 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 wanna, I made it so hard that if my wife ever thought about leaving me, she'll say, but he'll fool, but he sure pay these bills. He'll fool. He get on my nerve, but he sure keep my car clean. He'll fool, but he sure pay this rent. He'll fool, but he sure pay this vet company. He'll, he'll fool. I ain't never got to worry about my nails. I, watch this. I just will stay with that fool. <laughs> am, am I helping y'all? As a man, you got to make it impossible. I read my wife's list on her husband. I, I don't even fit the list. <laughs> you got the wrong man. She want them 6'2", 130. I'm 230. You got the wrong. I'm 5'2". You got the wrong man. But, but the man of God in me replaced everything that she wanted. Y'all better help me in here. The, 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 the word of God in me replaced everything. The, the preaching in me, the walking right, the, the lifting my hands up and praising God 
when nobody was downstairs and I thought I was by myself and she hollered, I love you because you're praising God by yourself. That, that counts to the six foot two. Y'all better help me. Am I helping y'all in here? I said, so why, why did you like me? Why, why you like me? Because you stay groomed up. My God, because I stay groomed up. Anybody can get groomed up. She said, no, because you love God. Can I get an amen? See, when you, <laughs> when they love God, uh, uh, everything they see go out the window. All they can see is a man worship. Because if a man ever start worshiping in, in front of his girlfriend, in front of his wife, in front of, in front of neighbors, if, a, if she ever catch you worship, she was going to fuss you up. Mm -mm. Nope. That's a man of God. Can y'all clap your hands real quick? I'm going to read these two, three scriptures and we out. Ephesians 5 and 23. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church. Ephesians 5 and 28. In the same way, husbands should love their wives as their own body. 1 Timothy 3 and 5, and this is it. For, I, for if a man does not know how to take care of his own home, how can he take care of the church? Can I get an amen? So as a man of God, you got to start praising. You got to start being in attendance. You got to start loving God. You got to start giving. You got to start worshiping. Every time the door of God opens, Every, I, I know y'all are super busy. I know y'all work for the FBI and the CIA. I, I, I know y'all got undercover cop cars under your, under your house. I, I was here seven days this week. And if some of y'all don't know, I'm the chaplain of the Chesapeake Police. And they, soon as I got home from Bible study, then they called me out. I wanna, I'm going to tell you when we get off the, of what I did. I, I ain't get home till that next day. But I, but, but, but I have an obligation. And you know I'm not going to get to sit in more time than I give God. Can I get an amen? I'm, I'm not going to give nobody more time than I give God. Vontae Baseman, y'all come on up here real quick. I'm not going to give nobody more time than I give. Full uniform, bulletproof, pants, boots, bad to everything. I had to go out there and pray for people. And they... And leaning on me and crying. You, you understand what I'm saying? It, it takes a lot to be a man of God, but the blessings that come with it, the blessings that come, the blessings are outrageous. You just have to try God. Now, I don't have a lot of money, but I have a, a flow of money. My, I, I never have a break in my money. I, we, 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 we give. We, I, I never have a break. I, I ain't got, no, I'm always, I'm always. Now, do I, do I want more? Yeah, but I never have a break. I have currency, flow. It always comes. <laughs> Might not be what I want, but it's always coming. Always coming. Because if you provide, God will provide for you. Give and it shall be given back to you. You should never have to fight what God has given you. Ne never fight. Just, just take the authority and do what God is asking you. Can y'all clap your hands for God? Come on, next week I'll preach about the women. But it's about you today. I don't, don't want to grow soft men. I, I want to grow you strong with your situation. I want to grow you strong with your circumstance. I want to grow you strong with your issues. Because we all have issues, watch this, and we all have a past. I, I want you to be a man of God with your past. Can y'all, uh, y'all, you drinking, be a man of God. You smoking, be a man of God. You cussing, be a man of God. But watch this. As long as you be a man of God, the things you don't want to do, you're going to stop doing. <laughs> Am I helping y'all? Come on, we got to get out of here. Clap one more. Hey, go get Tim for me. We, 
My nephew standing up. I must have preached in this place. Come on, can y'all clap for God in here? Somebody go get Minister Tim. My God. I am the that blue. I am the grass that green. I am the wind that blows. My name is Jesus. Can y'all sing it with me? Watch this. G, that's what he do. If you need something from God, say, I am the sky that I am the grass that green. I am the wind that blows. My name is G. My God. Say it with me. G. We're going to sing it like we believe it. Come on. I am the sky that blue I am the grass that's green I am the wind that blows his name is G he loves come on one more time G he one more time I am the sky that blue I am the grass that green I am the wind that blows. My name is. Come on, clap your hands for God. What we're going to do, we're going to get ready for communion. I got to go home, but I felt God in this place. I got to keep, I got to keep my composure. Bro. My God. I want to thank the women for just sitting in on us today. For the men. But y'all got a word today too, amen. My God. Now you know what to look for. Do we have our communion cups? Everybody have communion cups? If you don't have your communion cup, lift your hand. Ah, that blue. I am the grass. That green. I am the wind. That blows. My name is G. Hey, nephew. I wrote this song one night I was going through. I wrote that one more time. And there's some more to go with it. When, when, we, when we record it, come see me. I promise you. I am the wind that blows. My name is He. Woo. You can't get I get it, baby. I can. I am the sky that blew. I am the that. Blue. Come on, Vontae. Can somebody ask, uh, come here, uh, Sandra Jennings. Help. Help my wife, girls. Yeah, Can everybody stand to their feet, please? We're going to get ready to get out of here. Go down just a little bit. The Bible says, first I want everybody to ask for forgiveness and repent in your own mind. Anything you've done that wasn't, wasn't of God, anything you thought about doing that wasn't of God, I need you to repent right now and ask for forgiveness. God, I'm sorry. The Bible says that the disciples, they was all in a room and Jesus, being Jesus, he said, somebody's going to betray me. And the Bible says that Judas looked at him and said, is it I? Jesus said, because you said it, you know it's you. So Judas, go do what you're going to do quickly. You got to tell the enemy every now and then, go do what you're going to do quickly. Leave me alone. The Bible says that he took the bread, he broke it. He blessed it. And they ate ye all of it. If you haven't, these, they must be fresh and new. They hard to open. Amen. <laughs> you might need to ask for forgiveness again if you can't get it open. <laughs> I'm just playing. <laughs> then the Bible says that he took the blood, the wine, and he says, drink ye all of it. He gave thanks. Somebody say, thank you, Lord. Drank all of it. Come on, y'all want somebody to say, his name is Jesus. Somebody say, his name is Jesus. The Bible says, after that, now watch this, I want to just tell you this, that you can take communion as much as you need it. 
You don't just have to take it on the first Sunday. Go get you some grape juice, some bread, and take it as much. If you feel like you're ready to go off, do communion. You need a breakthrough, do communion. Because what that does, it clears you. All you got to remember to do is bless it and give thanks. Eat all the bread you have and drink all the juice that you have. If you need a breakthrough. Because the enemy is crazy. Then the Bible says they went out and sung a song. Can y'all clap for God? Come on. We're going to sing this one more time. That's blue. My name is G. Everybody sing. We're just going to sing one verse. G. I am the sky. That blue. I am the grass. That green. I am the wind that blows. My name is Jesus. Come on, sing it. Jesus. All right, watch this. We're going to get ready to get out of here. I'm, five, I'm 10 minutes late. I'm 10 minutes late and I done got hungry. So if you didn't give, up here is our canisters. Dante, put it on the TVs for me and on the iPad. So we want to thank God for what you're doing. We have people already paying 1024. I don't even roll like that. <laughs> but folk already put in because the January the second, we're gonna pay this roof off, and we're gonna and we're gonna pay the chairs off. Then next year this time, I want to burn this mortgage. I'm trying to build another church with a gym. Y'all messing up, man. Didn't y'all see God bring us out of a storefront and bring us here? God made me a promise. You might not be able to handle it if I tell you. I'm just trying to tell you. I'm a man of God. I'm going to walk in the power of God. So if you need to give, give on Facebook. Fa Facebook family. Let me talk to you real quick. I'm talking to you. Our views are three and four hundred. Some of you can't even be here today. You want to be here. But go ahead and give. Just give. Be a part of what we're doing. So when we blow up, you blow up. Can I get an amen? Tell somebody when we blow up, y'all plan. We we'll say when I blow up, you blow up. See what the devil have done, Mr. Brown. The devil have told some people, don't give, you don't have it. The devil is a lie. Say what, babe? You got to give to get it. You got to give to get it. So keep that up there for a while. First lady, come up and um, I want you to welcome all of our new uh, visitors first. So do we have any first time visitors? Hallelujah, y'all. Let's give them my God. a round of applause. I got my nephew up in here today. Thank you so much. If y'all can raise your hand one more time, y'all, we're going to give them a bell of applause Come on. for that. Come on. Woo, woo, woo. My God. So we are grateful that you all came. We recognize y'all could have gone anywhere, but you came to Prince of Peace. Thank you so much. We appreciate Amen. you and we pray. Well, we know that something was said that did something to your heart and stirred up your soul and your spirit. So we want to see you again and we hope you come back out. All right, so now we know it's that time where we open up the doors of the church. If there is anyone, anyone who is not saved, what is salvation? Salvation is accepting the Lord Jesus Christ in your heart and believing that, yes, I'm a sinner, and I admit I'm a sinner, but I believe in my heart that you are the Savior. And guess what? All of us are sinners. And it took for us to say that we were sinners and believing that Christ is the Messiah and Savior. So if you want to give your life to Christ, which is called salvation, please raise your hand. This is your opportunity. This is your moment. If Christ were to crack the sky right now, My God. you ask yourself, will I go to heaven? 
Will I go to heaven? And you know, uh, churches nowadays don't like to talk about it. But the opposite of heaven is hell. So will I go to heaven? Or will my soul remain in hell? So this is your opportunity right now. And again, I will ask the question. If there's anyone who wants to give their life to Christ, please raise your hand at this moment. All right, let's clap because we're clapping that we must all be saved or that even if we aren't all saved in your hearts now, you pray for those who are just trying to make it there and trying to get there. We pray that their hearts come to Christ. Second, the second one is if there's anybody who wants to rededicate their life to Christ. I'm a backslider, and I know I'm a backslider, but I've been trying to get to Christ. This is your opportunity right now to raise your hand. This is for rededication. We see your hand. Anybody else? If there's anyone else, amen. And you just meet us in the back. You've been so good. The last call is if this is Prince of Peace Pray Center, you know that this is the place for you to join, to be a member. We call it partners because members, they're not involved in the actual decision making and involved in the being invested. So for our partners, if there is anyone who wants to be a partner here, being under the umbrella of leadership here at Prince of Peace and you want to grow here, Please raise your hand you, at this moment. Lord. Come on, thank you, Lord. Let's sing on. One more time, we extend oh, that offering. If you want to make Prince of Peace your place of worship, your home. All right, let's give ourselves Come on. a hand. Oh, Amen. And now let's give God praise. Amen. You, He's worthy. He's worthy. Lord, thank y'all so much. I'm getting ready to let you out. We get ready to go home. So we need to meet with our first time visitors. And we need to meet with some rededicate. Can y'all clap your hands for somebody rededicating their life? My God. Thank y'all so much. Let me, let me pray us out of here. Um, I'm just glad, just glad to see so many in the building today. Amen. Father, we thank you. We adore you. And we honor you, God. Without you, God, we are nothing. We are already filthy rags. But God, thank you for your anointing, God. Thank you for a movement, God. Thank you for blessing us, God. God, we break the hands of the enemy in the name of Jesus. God, give us traveling mercies back to our destination. I bind every word that would try to pull you away from God today. And God, we truly do thank you. And we love you. In Jesus' name, amen. Can y'all clap for